Hi guys. Tonight we're gonna make a 30 minute gumbo and I'm gonna use a Zatarain box mix. And where is it? Oh, here it is. It's right here. So we're gonna start by adding all the water and everything else to it. I'm also sauteing some okra in this pan. Kind of cook out the slime first before I put it in the pot. So do it on a high heat, not on the low heat. You don't want it to get you know, even slimier. So make sure it's on high heat as you do that. And I'm sorry it's kind of loud, but. Okay, so let's start by adding all the ingredients to this pot. So I know I need some water. Need about six cups of water in here. So let me get my little measuring cup. Turn my pan on. Six cups of water, and we're gonna add the, the gumbo mix. This is what I'm using. And okay. I'm gonna also add some uh, beef sausage in here. So let me cut up my sausage. I'm showing what brand I'm using. Turn it right here. I'm gonna put about three of them in there. Oh, it's a beef hot link, not sausage. And it's the Al Safa brand. These are halal sausages, they don't have any pork in it. these up. I also have some jumbo shrimp right here. They're already peeled and deveined. So I'm going to put that at the last 10 minutes. These are hot links. They're not hot dogs. These are kind of spicy too. And we're done with this. So if you're using sausage, you gotta put it in here with the rest of the stuff. Yep, baby G. Hello. <laughs> Up. 
Hey, Jerry. So, this stuff the water, blah, 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 stir in chicken, and bring to a boil, and cover it for about 20, 25 minutes after it comes to a boil. But since we're gonna add shrimp to it, I'm gonna put a timer for 15 minutes, then put my shrimp in there and the okra probably, and then let it cook for 10 additional minutes, and then it'll be done. I got some big old jumbo shrimp to go in there. And I'm also gonna make some uh, cornbread. Well, not cornbread, corn muffin. Whatever, we're gonna call it cornbread. I found these at uh, Fiesta, because I don't eat lard. You know, the other one has lard, so I have to look for something different from that. So I found the vegetarian one. And this one has uh, vegetable shortening instead of, you know, lard. So, let me zoom in. I think you see that in. Okay. I'm trying to get all the slime out of the okra. That's what I'm doing right now. Can I lower the heat a little bit? Hopefully this comes to a boil. And I thought I put okra in there, but I'm not gonna, I don't put it in there right away, like raw okra. I, I want to cook it down so I can take the slime out of it first before I put it in the gumbo. That's why I'm cooking the okra first. to a ball so I can cover it up in a few minutes. So, we can make the corn bread, muffin, whatever you want to call it, the Jiffy bread. So, all you need is four, I think four ingredients, or well, three ingredients. This, one egg, and one third cup of uh, milk. So, put this in here. I guess it doesn't come out of the box. Nothing in here. There's nothing in here. I think the okra is ready, so I'm just going to turn that off. Put it on low. 
Okay, so I got one egg. Have a little bag for all my trash. I wash my hands if I touch that egg. The egg yolk. And there's one third cup of milk. You can use almond milk, soy milk, any type of milk. But I'm just gonna use regular milk. So that goes in there. Mix it all up. What was homemade the the corn muffin? No, I don't do that. <laughs> I get the box mix for everything. But it's gonna taste really good. I, I mean, by the time I get home, it's like 5.30, so we don't have time. So try to do it the easy way on a weekend, I mean, on a weekday. So, so this is ready to get poured in a pan. I have a little round cake pan. I'm just gonna spray it with some uh, butter spray. Make sure it's sprayed real good. So the okra came to a boil. I'm gonna lower the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Pour this in here. I'm just going to scrape the rest. It's going to be real thin, but it's still going to be cornbread. So put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at a 400 degree oven. So it's pretty much going to be ready when the, the gumbo is ready. So let's bring it over here. No, I got the cornbread mix right here with the, the smart here, the Jiffy cornbread mix. I don't know how to make it from scratch. I mean, I would have to look it up and figure it out, but this is something that's really fast and easy to do. So I just get the box mix. And the okra is ready. You got the slime out of there. You don't want to slime your okras in your gumbo. Okay, so I have the timer on for this. Got this. Now I gotta put, just wait on the timer to go off. Do I make my room? Oh my God. For the gumbo, it's a 30 minute gumbo. So it's the Zeta Rins gumbo mix. This says 25 minutes, I'm just, I'm just gonna say 30. If I was gonna do, you know, to do this from scratch, yeah, I would have to make the roux and cook it for like a few hours on really low heat. You do, what does the flour do? To make it softer?
So these are the box mixes that I used today. The gumbo mix and the Jiffy corn muffin mix. <laughs> I thought that was a reason why. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe it'll stretch the amount you get at the end if you put flour in there. Or I'm thinking the flour probably, I don't know, makes it fluffier. Oh, okay. Got it. See what you're saying. So it'll, it'll come out more like a like a cupcake. You know, the, the texture. I see what you're saying. I might do that next time. And probably put some butter in there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I won't do that. I feel like it'll be like, so it won't be like really thick, not thick like a, like if I bite into it, it'll have some texture in it, like fluffiness. that next time. I might even try to make it homemade just to see what ingredients I need for it. But on a weekday, I gotta do stuff really fast to get it, you know, get dinner done fast. And I just know that this is way better than uh, fast food. halfway through so I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add the okra to it and some jumbo shrimp to it <laughs> hey charisma so what I did was I put this well first I was sauteing the okra to get all the slime out of here before I put it in there then I started on the gumbo. Well, I put six cups of water in here. Yeah, I don't think it'll let you share from this group. Um, so I put six cups of water in here, then I add the, the mix in there, and also cut, uh, cut three, cu um, three of the beef hot links, and I put it in there also. Let it come to a ball, and I'm letting it simmer for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm gonna add the shrimp and the okra in here and let it cook for an additional 10 minutes and I have some this Jiffy vegetarian you know mix uh, corn muffin mix cornbread mix I have it in the oven already it's the vegetarian kind because I don't eat lard no pork in this house for a religious reason and no I'm not from Louisiana I'm from here I wasn't born here but I'm you know, pretty much from Houston from Houston, Texas since age eight. I'm from overseas, from Bangladesh.
but my husband is from Louisiana. He's from uh, Lafayette, but he's been in Houston since he was little too. Right, Wes? Because we can't eat that lard, right? <laughs> yeah, I saw the regular kind, and I was like, man, where's the other kind? I know they have some other kinds here, and they have the vegetarian kind over there too. So. You know what, I'm gonna add the shrimp and the okra to this. So I have about a pound of jumbo shrimp right here. It's already peeled and deveined. And I took the shells off, but I left a few in here because this shell right here, if I can pick it up, this shell right here has a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna mix it in here. That's already cooked. I wanted to cook some of the slime out of there. Let's mix it all together. Stir it up. And cook it for an additional 15 minutes. I'm going to do 15. Oh, I met my husband at school. We went to um, graphic design school in Houston about 20 years ago. Then we got married and we had two kids and my kids are 17 and 19, so yeah. You made some gumbo from scratch? Hey, you got a lot of time. I don't have any time. I have, I'm at work in the daytime, so by the time I get home, I told you guys that's like five something. <laughs> he's at work. He's a teacher. Uh, he's a teacher at a community college. He teaches graphic design, web design, coding, that kind of stuff. So he has like weird schedule. Some days he teaches at, in the daytime. Some t you know, some days it's, it's at night. So he's at school. You might have ca you know, caught him yesterday when I was doing the, uh, what was I doing yesterday? The, what did I make? Oh, I made the, the waffle, the, like an omelet waffle, scrambled egg waffle. I made some of that yesterday and he kind of was in the video for a little bit. So yeah, if you watch that video, you'll see who, who that is. <laughs> And sometimes my kids will pop in here and say, what are you making, mommy? <laughs> no, no, I didn't do the video. video. I did the, the one I did in the middle of the day yesterday. It was the, the omelet, the waffle. Yeah, omelet or scrambled egg waffles and the crescent roll waffles. I used a waffle maker and I made waffles out of crescent rolls and waffles out of scrambled eggs. Yeah, scrambled egg waffles. I, that's what I called it. But then I looked online and they were calling it omelet waffles or, yeah, something like that, omelet waffles. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much cook every day after work. Unless I have Zumba class, then it's my husband's turn to cook. <laughs> Gotta cook, you know. I don't wanna go out to eat because I always get disappointed whenever I get something from outside or if I order something, unless it's pizza. Pizza's always good, but anything else, I get disappointed. So we're waiting for the timer to go off on these. So I'm gonna bring the temperature up a little bit and make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, I'm doing this right. Mm. You guys have any questions, comments, concerns, go on to ask me right now while we're waiting for this the timer to go off. Let me see how the muffins are looking. More like cornbread. <laughs> Get 
Sure. I can come back in 10 minutes or do you guys want to just wait? crab legs this is just a shrimp and a sausage gumbo a weeknight gumbo we'll just call it that <laughs> well I guess I can show you guys what else I got from the store today I went to Fiesta that's one of our stores in Houston my favorite store is HEB but I went to Fiesta to get the shrimp and the, another fish that I'm gonna cook one day this week and HEB doesn't have that fish so I had to go to Fiesta and get it and when I was looking for the gumbo mix, I found some of these. Mm. Let me show you guys. I have never seen these. Look, cilantro lime, dataran cilantro lime rice. And they have the jambalaya rice dinner mix, but with cheese. I've never seen that at the other stores, but I was like, wow, I need to get some of these. And they were like a dollar nine each. So, yeah, gumbo in 30 minutes because I'm using the gumbo mix from Tata Ranz. Yep, it's a quick, quick, uh, quick night gumbo. I do the 30 minute jambalaya, 30 minute gumbo, 30 minute, I mean, other stuff that you can do within half an hour. I'm gonna try that one maybe tomorrow. I want to see what it tastes like too. <laughs> Is it Tynesia or Tynikia? Probably fajitas. Yeah. What's some grilled chicken fajitas? That do sound good. But I don't know what I'm going to make the cilantro line with. Hey, Brenda. I do not know what I'm cooking. Thanks, Marie, uh, Marla. My husband would ask me in the middle of the day, what's for dinner? And I'm like, I don't know, whatever you take out, you know, whatever meat he takes out. So if it's ground chicken or ground beef, we'll make something with that. If it's whole chicken cut up into smaller pieces, I'm making chicken curry with that or some baked chicken. It all depends. First one, um, not sure what that means. Oh, Tynesia. Okay, I think I got it right. Let's 
see what happened here. Yeah, I don't plan my meals. It doesn't go, you know. It's whatever we have in the freezer, whatever meat we have in there, and whatever's in the pantry. Just have to come up with something. Oh, I did. I don't know if I did it on this group, but I did make some. I think I made some chicken curry one time, or I could make the fish curry, my pompano curry, because I got some pompano from Fiesta like a whole pompano that they cut into like steak size. I can make that one, maybe tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have step class, I can't do it tomorrow. Let me think, can I do it tomorrow? Maybe after I come back from step class. But I'll see what I can make this week. So far, this is what it's looking like in here. Ooh, let's see if this is done. If the rice is done, then you know it's done. I'm just gonna see if the rice is done. No one thing is spicy. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, just search my uh, search my name at the top, and you can see all the videos that I made and all the recipes that are up there. The timer's about to go off in a few minutes. Let me make sure the muffin isn't burning. Toothpick. Excuse me while I open this cabinet. Muffin is ready, and this is what it looks like in here. It's gonna cut into wedges. I'm just gonna let it cool off. It's really hot right now. Get my plates ready.
we'll turn this timer off and the oven off. And you guys can see what it looks like in there. And this is what it looks like when it's done. guys so here's what it looks like right here that's a 30 minute gumbo with your jiffy i was gonna say jiffy lube <laughs> the jiffy corn muffin mix all right guys i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and i will post a picture in a few seconds all right bye